my year. <laughs> so by the end of the day, I undid the yeah the belt. The belt, yeah. I know when yeah. you when you're wearing things and you're sitting down a lot. I don't know why we're talking about I this. Know. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. To, Good morning. To the Facebook. We actually started, but we're in the middle yeah. of our, of our conversation. <laughs> anyway, so glad you're here. We're here too, which is lovely. Looks like yes. rain and there's lots of people joining already. Absolutely. Good morning. You know, we always say good morning to each individual person. I yes. think it's kind of nice. Yes. Um, but because there's more and more people coming. It's a little hard to keep up. It is. So yes. well, just like you do, just say, hello, Lorraine. Yeah. <laughs> hello, Lorraine. Hi, nice, Lorraine. Nice to see you. And it looks like there's going to be dozens more people that are going to say hi, which is lovely. That's right. Now, will I have most control today? Oh, I do. Yay. It's working again. That's good. That's so good. Makes you feel yeah, much better. Absolutely. <laughs> hi, Cynthia. Donna, good to see you. Kathleen, hi. Tammy, howdy from <laughs> sunny Washington. I wish we could say sunny Victoria, but it's a little cloudy today. Oh, come on. I'm not wishing that it was going to be sunny today. I'm thrilled the clouds are here. I know you oh, are. You like it cool? It's been warm this week. It was really warm. I keep saying it was hot. What was it? 28 degrees centigrade? I think on Wednesday it was Celsius, 28 I mean. Celsius. Yes. Right? That's a yes. lot for a That's poor, right. you know, cool loving person. That's right. <laughs> Good morning, Diane and Patricia St. Clair. Hi. Nice to see you both. It's always nice to hear where you're from because not everybody knows um, each other. That's right. So, you know, when you say hello, you say where you're from. That's kind of a nice way of doing it, too. Exactly. You could say hot, humid Texas. <laughs> and we could say cloudy Sydney. That's right. Sydney, we BC. Yeah. Canada. <laughs> yeah, we're really uh, all set for the, for the cooler weather today. Yeah. We, It'll be nice and comfortable. It will be. I had the air conditioners on. We had like we bought two separate air conditioners that we can move into the house and set up in a special way. But then you know what happens is the very windows that you normally would open are the ones that are using are the, the yeah. So then the they stay closed. So yeah. we've just figured out how to undo the air conditioner really quickly so we can have like regular air there. airflow. <laughs> So we did that a couple of times over the week, that's for sure. Because that's kind of nice to have that uh, uh, real air coming in. I know. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as that air conditioner goes on, we have two, one at each end of the house. But as soon as that goes on, you just, like, you feel like you're in prison. Yeah. And and you ha and it's so loud. Like, these ones, yes. anyway, they're loud. They're loud. I can hear them down here. Can you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Aw. Yeah. I know when Richard's turning on it because it starts up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only a house, not an office building. Yeah. That's hello, right. Carol. I don't Hi, know Carol. if we're missing anybody, but yeah. hello. If we missed you, sorry about that. We're busy talking about our own stuff. That's good morning, Kathy. Exactly. Hi, Kathy. Joy. Hi, good Joy. to see you. Uh -huh. 2 30 a.m. Wow. Dedication. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your lovely compliment today uh, and this week, too. Really appreciate it, Joy. Hi, Beverly. Lorraine. Cool and rainy Perth. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you got your winter after all. Good. Yes. But Glad her win winter is like our spring. <laughs> I know. I know. It was so nice of you to send us a note about That's what right. it looks like for you in the, in the fall. In the fall. It looks like, you know, June for us. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Loretta says, it's nice and sunny outside. Aw. That's good. Nice and breeze. Elizabeth Dixon. I'm not sure if I remember that name. So I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. And if you have here been here before, sorry. Yeah. A very short memory. <laughs> Donna <laughs> says it was in the 90s. Yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. That, I think that's the heat wave we got too. That's right. Because Donna lives further south of us, um, more in Cal Northern California. Yeah, she's close to San Francisco. Oh, yeah, exactly. So it's similar, but it's usually a little bit warmer there. Yes. Although she does get a lot of fog. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we don't get too much of that. That's right. Hi, Milady. Hi, Milady. Good to see you. Milady, did you name yourself Milady Victoria because of the Victoria Sampler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just joking. Yeah. Honestly. We probably took our name from you. It could be. No, you took it because we used to live in Victoria. Yes. You know, like, what, 20, 20 minutes away from here. Yeah. And now we live, or at least the Victoria Sampler lives um in northern um uh, just a little bit north of victoria so we still call it victoria sampler it yes. would sound silly if we still co started calling it sydney sampler yeah <laughs> that's weird yeah. 
I think we'll stick with Victoria Sampler. It sounds classy. I think so. It's too cool to even swim in my pool. Oh. At least you have a pool. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a pool to say, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. not swimming in that That's pool. right. <laughs> <laughs> Judy says she's in uh, Castro Valley, California. Yeah, 58 Fahrenheit. Now it's, wow. Yeah. Sandy, Sandy Werbitsky's here. Good Friday morning to you, too. Norma says, good morning. Hi, Norma. Lovely that you have such nice, cool weather, My, yeah. as far as we're concerned. I'm concerned. Absolutely. Lisa can take it a lot hotter than I can. Yeah. Some like it hot. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a little bit on the warmer side. Otherwise, exactly. my feet get cold and I have to wear socks. Oh no! Yeah. But you but you knit them yourself, so I do. Yes. Do you have them on now? The, I, the knitted I, I ones? do have a knitted pair of socks on. I don't know how a person can knit socks for themselves. It's just amazing what you can do. It's fun. Yeah. See, yeah, it's fun. Apparently, it's fun. you have to do all this careful counting, yeah. and oh no, I don't know how you do it, but you do it. I do it. So my lady says no, but I was born Victoria. Oh, so your oh. your nickname or your name is taken from. Your name, in other words, your right. original name was Victoria. That's a lovely name. Did people call you Vicky, though? I bet they did. Anyway, yeah. Deb says, hello. And Rachel and Charlotte are here. Yeah. All big smiles and tears of laughter from, up a bit, from Elizabeth That's Dixon. It. Yeah. <laughs> My lady says that was the name with the, with the name Victoria. That's right. Oh, Kathleen yep. is here. Yay. Nick. And Trisha's here too. Good morning, awesome. Trisha. Yeah. Kathy. I think we should give late um, slips and you have to go to yeah. the principal. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I wonder if we can make, you know, some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of a punishment for people who are a late. Tardy. Tardy. A tardy slip. Slip, exactly. <laughs> and then you have to do something. <laughs> no, of course there's yeah. no problem. Glad you're here. The that's punishment it. is 20 stitches. <laughs> like 20 lashes. Is, that's right. 20 <laughs> stitches in the next five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you have to go rush and get your stitches, that's right. Tricia. <laughs> so Deb's here. Yay. She's part lizard. Yeah. yeah. See, you have to be that. Well, you're in uh -huh. the right, you're in the right place, Deb. Me too, Deb. Yeah. yeah. My lady says, yes. Ah, yeah, I bet people called you that. But I love the name Victoria. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So we're here and we wanted to just talk a little bit about what we're doing this exactly, week. Exactly, yes. What's been going on with Lisa this week in the Victoria Sampler you know, studio. The, week, the weeks go by so quickly, but um, I didn't want to mention one thing. I had a, a phone call the other day. She left a message in my voicemail. Her name was, was Helen, and I have tried calling you back every day since, and the phone rings and rings and rings, and there's no answering machine or anything like that. So, Helen, if you left a message on Monday and you haven't heard from me, I've tried. Yes, yeah, yeah. so in other words, if Helen manages to watch this. That's right. Or if there is a Helen, because we right. don't even know that. Yeah, no, no. her name was Helen. Yes, she said she, her yeah. name was Helen. <laughs> but also the phone True. number might just have been the wrong phone number. Who knows? That's right. It, it can happen. So do give us a call back That's right. during our office hours. Yeah. What are our office hours in Pacific time? Uh, they are nine to four, right? Monday to Thursday. Those are our official official office days. hours. Yeah. So if you're calling on an, from another time zone, remember we're in the Pacific uh, zone. So yeah. time your call well, or you're just going to get an answering machine. That's right. And on Fridays, even though I'm here quite often, I generally don't answer the phone. So leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You do check them. I do check. And if it's yes. something extremely urgent. That's I right. think you sometimes get back to yeah. people, but we try That's to right. have Lisa have a little bit uninterrupted time during the week because then she can do more charting. That's right. That's when I usually do my charting, but today happens to be a bookkeeping day, so I'll be doing my bookkeeping and yeah. then charting. She's going to pay everyone. That's right. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I get to spend Taya's money, which is Yay. always nice. So. <laughs> Charlotte says, hi, ladies. No need to say hi back. It's just great to get to visit from Sunny for a Change, Western Penn. <laughs> That's so nice. It's Hi, nice to Charlotte. see your, yeah. your comment. Appreciate it. Elaine says, hello, Jennifer. Oh, yes. And Patricia says, 85. Jennifer Gowan says, hello, my sister, Karen Cottrell, is in the hospital. Oh, no. Oh. Very ill suddenly. I'm in 
Virginia, so it makes it difficult. I finished Crystal Waters to help keep my mind off worrying. Oh, yeah. that's such a hard yeah. time that you're going through. Really empathize with you, Jennifer Gowan. I know that your heart is in the right place, and hopefully everything will be done, and your sister will recover. Absolutely. Our hearts go with yeah. you, and we'll be thinking about you over the next little while. Let us know how yeah. it goes, especially if it's a really uh, you know, good um, progress that your sister is making. Absolutely. Um, we'd love to stop worrying for you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you for mentioning. Trisha says, I had the brilliant idea I would be able to finish the filling in the hardanger and the bee sampler in half an hour. <laughs> and I missed the 930 because, of course, it takes longer than that. You know, everything takes longer That's than we right. think. Exactly. That's my problem, too. I always have yeah. this, like, idea that I can have a shower in 15 minutes. Yeah. I get ready for them in the morning. It always takes twice as long. But That's right. But still my head, 15 <laughs> minutes. So silly. Tammy mm -hmm. says, I have gray linen on the frame getting ready to start the christmas day sampler oh yay that is in really good time yeah to get that done this summer before the christmas season starts i hope you enjoy it tammy well and what else did you do this week well i have been working on the um bee pin cushion bumblebee pin cushion whatever we're gonna call it is absolutely gorgeous so that I've been working on and you know one what, day you mean writing next, writing the writing charting yeah charting writing diagrams ordering material ordering material it's a quite a process that we go through for each design yes it is people probably don't yeah. realize it has to not just be designed and stitched and then charted and written edited 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 finished. again right yeah yeah finished this product has to be done finished Pictures taken. What else happens? I think I missed out a few yep. steps already, right there. But it's There's so many things. steps to yeah. getting a um, a design ready. Yeah, and you probably hear about it. Oh yes, I've been working on it. Yeah. You know, I've been working on it. Yeah. The same design for like Absolutely. weeks and weeks because that's how long There's it takes. multiple different steps to working on a design. So they certainly are, yeah. and Lisa does most of them, <laughs> 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 which I so appreciate. So. She's very careful too. I love the fact that uh, Lisa's editing makes all of our instructions as careful and as accurate as we can possibly make them. Yeah. And of course, there's always the occasional, you know, error or something left in the chart that shouldn't have been there that I put in, you know, because I take that on myself because I'm the one that makes the errors. <laughs> Lisa corrects my errors all the time. Looks like Patricia says she's halfway done on the Q sampler. Oh, yay. So does that mean you're doing all the alphabet, Patricia, or is that Q for queen, queen of yeah. the day? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, Marty's here. Hi, Lisa and Te Tapatia. <laughs> I've never been called that. That's so cute. I think you probably uh, got spell correct or yeah. autocorrect on that one. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, she's I like when you type in hard anger and it changes it to something else. It's like, <laughs> and then later on you read, go, what? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> it's flag day here in the States, but I just got weighed at my weight loss center. Well done. And I officially hit my first goal. Oh my Yay. goodness. Excellent work, Marty. That must make you feel so much better. Absolutely. And you can move around better and everything. Yeah. I would really like to go someplace for lunch. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> That's actually one of those thoughts that I have, and that kind of ruins my whole weight loss thing. If I start thinking about how nice it would be to go for lunch. I, I've lost the weight. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> exactly. I do this the same thing. And then, you know, you feel like you are, like, you deserve something because you've done such a good job. <laughs> yeah, but it defeats the purpose. <laughs> so yeah. don't put your mind on that, okay, Marty? Just, you know, eat your whatever it is that you eat and then just go do something else to yeah. celebrate. Celebrate by going to buy a pair of shorts. Exactly. <laughs> go buy some clothes, yes. That's always a really yeah. good way to celebrate some weight loss because they feel better and you yeah. look better. Deb says, the charts are always so good and easy to read. Thank Thanks, you. Deb. Right? Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> the charts are always amazing. Jennifer says, do you think you may ever do a small sampler with sea turtles? Hmm. We don't have sea turtles here, so no. it's not the first thing on the top of my no, mind. exactly. I have decided what the theme is going to be for the July sampler. Yeah, <clears throat> the, the stitch along, yes. Yes, oh, sorry, the stitch along. Um, 
And I'm sorry, Jennifer Gowan, but sea turtles are like when I go to Hawaii I see a lot yeah. of sea turtles but, but it's not a common thing or it's not here at all <laughs> no so I can't relate yeah you know and I have to design something that I personally can relate yeah. to yeah because if I start doing sea turtles and dragonfly not dragonflies what do you call them um seahorses seahorses yeah or um other countries things I find it really hard. I find it much easier to do something that I see around me. I yeah. get inspired by it, and I have feelings about it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, exactly. sorry. No, but um, the theme for the July Stitch Along is going to be butterflies, because I figure that butterflies a thing. are a summer thing, yeah. and I know many people um, do things that are patriotic, particularly the people here in the chat group. Many of you are from the USA. And so, of course, you're going to be thinking July 4th, and that would be nice for me to design something. But I don't, I'm not an American person. I am a Canadian. And even that, I don't want to just make something Canadian, and all of our stitchers That's then right. can't enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm going to limit myself to something that's more generic, something that's a little less uh, nationalistic. And even though I think it's great that people want to make those, and I've made a few myself, I think it's really important for us to all get together on something yeah. that we can, we've all seen. Absolutely. No matter where you are in the world, you've seen a butterfly. Yeah. And someone came up with a suggestion. I'm sorry, I forgot who, but it was such a good idea. And the bees went really well. Queen bee is yeah. a big hit. Everybody loves it. So I thought, hmm, something to do with really beautiful butterflies. Yes. Like yeah. really beautiful ones, not just any ones. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it yet, but it just really inspires me. You yeah. get that sort of that feeling. That feeling. Does, does anyone else love butterflies? I love butterflies. Good. They're pretty. We'll find yeah. out if exactly. people like it. We've got a question here, though. Ah. Does anyone, everyone working at the store, create designs and charts? Vera, we are. First of all, we don't have a store. No. We, we don't. We don't have an in-person place that people could come in and buy things. We sell things online. Yeah, but we're a design studio, so we had a few people doing designs for us, but mainly it's me. Yes, basically. Okay, it's the designer, and I create the charts. Yes, yes. and do many other things. Yes. I mean, we both do many other things, yes. but that's our basic that's right. role. Exactly. Yeah, so it's all just a very small home business. If anybody thinks because we have, you know, like a logo, that's right. <laughs> that means that we have this large business. No. It's really not. It's a small business, and we both love what we're doing. Absolutely. And uh, so, Vera, the answer to your question is just me. Yeah, and me. <laughs> no, uh, everyone working at the store creates uh, designs no, and charts. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah, you do the charts. I do the charts. So there you go. Kaya does the designs. I do the charts. And then Jennifer says, do you think you may do the sea turtles? No, yeah. sea turtle sampler would be good. Yeah. Patricia says, just doing the Q sampler for my sister, the quilter. quilter yeah. Uh, makes sense. And then we have congratulated Marty already. So congratulations. Yeah. Ah, she's repeated it because my name is now not misspelled. Ah. <laughs> You're wondering why we saw it again. But thank you. I think you better go home and have a diet lunch. Yeah. Yes, definitely. That's, right. That's the way you can exactly. keep going. Well done. Loretta says, love butterflies. Butterflies. Yes. Okay. Yeah, people are loving the butterflies. Oh, neat. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes, summer stitching, yeah. exactly. So it will involve some flowers and some butterflies. Colorful you... butterflies. Mm -hmm. I love butterflies. That's right. Well, so Hi, Barbara. All the people that are answering are from all over the world. That's so right. I'm really happy that that works for everyone. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> Cynthia says, pretty butterflies. Yeah. Yes, Kathy, I'd love yeah. to see some monarchs, too. We don't get them very often here in this neck of the no, woods. No, no. We have a lot of little, butter, little tiny little flutter. They look like moths. Yeah. <laughs> Those little white But we ones. do get some. some They're, yeah. you know, the black and yellow ones. That's the They're monarch ones. The monarch ones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, But I don't think that I'll stick with black and yellow. No, it's kind of a, you know, two-toned. Yeah, and it also the black and the yellow kind of feels like, fall that's right know. exactly so, no, it's got to be, be more bright than bright colors exactly yep. so far as i'm concerned i'm oh i'm still there's an update on the condo yep. uh, <laughs> two or three times ago or weeks ago i talked about the condo how horrible it was it's still horrible 
but council has dug in their heels. They're just so determined to make us suffer and wait, no matter what we ask them to do. Um, you know, no, no matter what we ask them, like, is there anything we can do? Why is it you won't approve it? Are you know putting a bathtub in a bathroom? What's the problem? You know, they won't answer anything. They just they refuse. Like there is just this blank stare. Like they don't care. Uh, so that's number one. And number two. Um, we decided that, or I decided actually, that I was just going to go ahead with the painting, but that meant that I had to do a little bit of electrical work. I had to put, put a plug behind a TV. So we went ahead and did that, and that was actually needed to have permission for. Uh-oh. Um, but we went ahead anyway. Nothing, nothing, nothing came back until yesterday. We got a note saying, well, you have to have your permit. You have to have this, and we're going to have an inspection, and blah, blah, blah. So that was their salvo. And uh, luckily, I had all of those things already. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have a hearing this coming Tuesday, and um, apparently after the hearing, they have to give us an answer in seven days. So at least they won't be able to say nothing yeah. anymore. Yeah. This is, yeah. I think, the fifth week since May 10th. No, yeah. May, since May yeah. 12th, this yeah. has been going on. Anyway, so we're progressing, and the condo colors in there look fabulous. So pleased the way things look now, instead of having blue walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were not, not not just blue. They were kind of a turquoisey blue. Exactly. And and having that kind of color in your face all yeah. the time. I just, it was a little I, much. That actually bothered me more than not being able to put the bathtub in. Yeah. I just wanted to get rid of that blue wall so badly. So now it's, we got sunny, yellowy, sheet cream uh, bedrooms, and we have a kind of a lovely soft gray, um, kind of blue-gray, more gray than blue. Uh, on the rest of the walls and all tones in with the floor and everything so it's oh so much better <laughs> a relief <laughs> so luckily we're going to be able to rent it out soon as is without a bathtub in the one bathroom and um and then we'll just see what council does you know over the next week i'll keep you posted yeah anyway so the other thing that i've been doing this week is um finishing the did i finish it last week already I can't remember the uh, scary stitches for October. Uh, no, you finished it last weekend. I did. You did. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't quite finish, but I showed it to you on Friday. I don't know if you showed it or not. Did we not show it? I well, thought it was I, on the on the scroll frame. Oh, well, maybe it was. I can't remember. You want me to grab it? Well, I don't know if anybody did wants to even see it. See it? Yeah. Hey, my scrolling capability. Oh, there we go. Tabby says I have to um, dive into a fabric stash for light colored linen, hoping I still have some flax colored linen for the job. Oh, you're uh, already yeah. planning it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, I love watching the butterflies when my butterfly bushes are flowering. Exactly. Yeah. I think we all really like the time when the butterflies come in. Unless you're, of course, staying in, um, like you're in the tropics. I guess you see butterflies all the time. Yeah. I'm going to turn on my fan. Your fan? Yeah. And Lorraine says she has a feeling that tomorrow is actually our birthday is on Mon um, Sunday, the 16th. And guess what? There's going to be a sale. Yeah. Did you yeah. all know this? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to announce it. And there, Lorraine saying Lorraine, it's the anniversary. Saying that's anniversary right. is really nice of you yeah. to remember. On the, on the 16th, on Sunday, it'll be 22 years since I started working for Victoria Sample. And so that's the, the official anniversary, right. but of course I was working on stitching and selling my stitching for what, seven years before, before that? that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I couldn't do anything uh, nearly as well with just by myself. So it was so nice when Lisa came and it's a really good uh, way to describe Victoria Sanford's start. Yes. You know, we really yeah. officially got a bookkeeping that's right. thing. And what else did we do? We, we kind of organized things. We did. Yeah. I was just doing whatever I could myself. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> we started organizing and more um, designs were, you were working on a design at the time. And yeah, it used with, to take me, what, four four weeks or eight? No, it used to take me longer, two months for yeah, a design. Yeah. And then suddenly it started taking me less and less time. Streamlined it a little bit. and Yeah, and we yeah. worked together to do all the various different parts instead of me doing everything. Yeah. So it really came alive then. It did. 22 yeah. years. Yay. Thank yeah. you, Lorraine, for remembering. Yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> no, you must have a birthday calendar she there does. somewhere. I think she does. Yeah. Thank you, Joy. Yeah. So what we're, thanks, Tammy, also yeah. for the condo issues. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Um, uh-huh. It's going to be really uh, a fun uh, sale because everything's on sale. Everything? I, I could easily say pretty much everything yeah, is on sale. Not quite everything. No, there will be a few things we can't put on the sale. The pin cushions won't be on sale. I don't think so because... The spindle pin cushions. No, because other than that would really um, make things complicated. Yeah. Because we're still... Actually, show the pin cushion That's again. Right. <laughs> Remember, our strawberry pin cushion yeah. is for sale, but will be on sale. That's right. So exactly. This pin cushion wooden form, as there you we all go. know, we're doing this every week. Uh, is available even though it says not in stock. That's right. Because you have to email info at victoriasampler.com in order to put yourself on the waiting list. Lisa will contact yeah. you and then your deposit will hold your place. That's right. Um, and we're now working not on the order that's coming to us. Again, because that's still. sold out. We're working on the next order. Yeah. So so keep that in mind. If you want this eventually, you might want right. to put your name down and put your deposit down so that you can have it. Yes. And if you don't like the spindle pin cushion, don't worry. You, you can, can always get one of these. The tray pin cushion. Exactly. And or finish all. it like Donna did, which was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Donna Granger. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the other thing you have to put down. Yes, as right. A, the as beehive a, scissor holder. It's going to yeah. have to still be on um, waiting list until after we come out with the beehive, or the, sorry, the bee pin cushion. That's right. Yeah, because that will go with it. Okay. So, so if you're, and if you're wanting the bee uh, pin cushion when it comes out, to finish it on the spindle, you would need to place your order. Otherwise, it's going to be a long wait. Yeah, just do it ahead of time. It takes yeah. about a month for yes. each order to come in. That's right. So don't wait. Just, you know, get it done. Anyway, so what were you saying? I was saying something else. Um, 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 we were talking about the sale. We so were. Everything is going to be on yeah. sale right after this uh, Friday's Facebook Friday. You're going to put it on sale after yes, this? Yes, it's our anniversary gonna, sale. You're going to wait until Sunday. No, no, no. No? No, no okay. it's going to be all weekend. Oh, mm -hmm. oh weekend. So good idea. And yeah. then it'll be taken off on Monday, Monday afternoon. afternoon. Yes, because many people actually don't access their emails or whatever, their announcements, until they get back to work. Ah, which I thought yes. was really interesting. I never used to realize that people don't always access our emails when they're at home, because guess what? They're at work a lot, and that's where they have everything, everything sent. True. So their yeah. bosses should know about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let the secret out. <laughs> <laughs> you design great uh -huh. pieces, says Carol Reed. I am learning how hard it is since I'm designing step six on your Mastercraft for EGA. Congratulations, okay. Carol, for taking that course. I know that's, you know, process that you kind of have to go through. And making decisions on where to put what. And I find that second, second guessing yes. is the worst disease. Absolutely. You just have to make a decision and then stick with it until you look at it again and go, no. <laughs> but most often, it's the right decision, yeah. right? Yeah. The very first thing that I ever do is I make a design, and then I ask Lisa to come and have a look at several different versions of it. Yes. And which is the yeah. one that you most often say you the like. The first one. So yeah. don't second guess yourself too much, Carol. Just keep going. It's yeah, a absolutely. wonderful process. Really, really congratulate you for doing that. So Nina Wadham says, what about visiting the Victoria Butterfly Garden for inspiration for the July sampler? Thank yeah. you. I've been there a few times. Yeah. <laughs> it is a beautiful place, and it does have a million butterflies. It, it does. They don't necessarily have uh, cross-stitch kits there for butterflies, so maybe I can make one and they can sell them. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Anyway, you're absolutely right. There's a huge inspiration there. But believe it or not, I have probably four books on butterflies myself yeah <laughs> and that's where I take my inspiration is from pictures of butterflies rather than being in amongst them necessarily but they do really like certain flowers they too. do absolutely like, what's it called the uh, it starts with a B it's a butterfly bush but it's I can't can't remember the, the Latin name for it but anyway those bushes my friend Kathy has in her garden Budlia that's I think that's oh. what it's called Anyway, then you can just go to her place and see all the yeah. butterflies you want because <laughs> they're everywhere. Aw, <laughs> Deb says, I'm so aggravated for you. Thank you. Yeah. It's very frustrating. You know what the most frustrating thing about the condo is, though? Just listening to my partner, Richard, about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's funny. coughs> 
<laughs> I know that it sounds weird, but he just can't let it go. And I understand because it's, you know, every day we lose, we lose opportunity, we lose yeah. money on rent and all that. But truly, you know, I've just had it now talking about it. Want to be, have it done now. Yeah. I'd like to be able to move on to another subject. That's right. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol says, I want to see it. No, okay, what were we talking to Carol about? Scary stitches. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm interested in the scary yeah, picture. That's right. Okay, yay. Okay, I'll go get it, everybody. <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> actually, there's only one way out of this these two seats. So I never get to get out because she's always sitting right next to me and then so she gets up and gets it. So I'm not a slave driver, honest. She's oh, just sure you, <laughs> sure you are, she says. <laughs> she's going in the main part of the office now. Those of you who have been here for a studio tour probably know where this little position is. You've seen it here before. And uh, the other part of the office is much bigger, and that's where we keep all of our um, that's where I am. Designs yeah. in progress. So this is it finally, right? Yeah. So this is the part. I think you've got the other part right, right there. there. So I'll kind of hold this one up. This is going to be in the front of the box. You yeah. Can hold that one up if you want. And this, that's these the, two things are the book. Yeah. And then a name tag and a little scissor box. Yep. That's the way it goes. So, so we're not going to show it for too long because, nope. you know, it's meant to be a bit of a surprise. That's right. So that's all you get. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and the finishing of it, I think, is going to be great fun for you. It is. I'm going to move that pencil. Lisa really loves finishing. I do love finishing. She's I always do. asking me, well, what about doing this? We, we could do this. We this. could do this. <laughs> but my time is limited. So, yeah. you know, I, I think I have all the time in the world. But it, like Tricia said, it's surprising how long some things take you think oh, okay I can do that in half an hour no 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 it actually <laughs> takes an hour and a half so <laughs> yeah or whatever and or so, whatever you know yeah. we, we, the spirit is totally willing to do all the things that everybody wants us to do that's right but exactly. we really have limited time limit yeah we've chosen something too that does take a lot of time like there's Absolutely. a lot of man hours in everything yeah. we do yeah or woman hours in this yeah. case <laughs> But to just say, oh, we'll just do that, it's just like, I don't know, there's business parts of the Victoria Samper, there's, yes. there's managing the kit, kit making, yeah. there's, there's so the creative part, yeah, and, it's just like, you know, no, we're doing the best we can, yeah. getting stuff out. We, yeah, and a lot of people think we sit around and stitch, I wish that was true. <laughs> That's just a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think it was last year we were going to designate Wednesday afternoon mm -hmm. as creative afternoon. Yeah, we really meant it. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and I think we did it once. <laughs> well, I have to sit and stitch, but even me, I know it sounds funny, but even me, I put the stitching off till the end. Till the end of the day. Because I know I have so many other things. Yeah. Emails, people email me, message me. I mean, I have to manage all those people too. Um, somebody said, happy birthday, Victoria. So Eva... My name is Taya. And my name's Lisa. And, and the company is the Victoria Sampler. Yeah. So the company name is the Victoria Sampler altogether. So just to let you know, very often people call me Victoria. Yeah. I call you Victoria. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So thank you, though, for your happy birthday wishes. Thank you. Sandy's ha congrats. Congrats. Carol's congrats. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Trisha. Yes. Miriam says, Felicidades, which yeah. I think I said right. Thank you. Patricia. Thanks, Norma. Do. Thank you. We do. My lady says, I'll be there in August. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Why is she coming here in August? Well, she's probably just in Victoria in August, oh, so not necessarily here. I see. But well, you, unfortunately, we would love to be able to have a place and time to meet everyone that comes here in the yes. summertime. Because so many tourists have asked us. Absolutely. Are you are you able uh, open for the public? And yeah, we're not. We're not, unfortunately. No, we don't have a store. We, you can't just come and walk up our driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Although that? we have had people do that, and unfortunately, I've had to turn them away because we're just not, um, the yeah. office is not set up for people to come and look at. We've got things scattered all over the place. It's just not, you know, you can't come and look at um, models. models. No, actually, we have some models in here now, but yeah. for years, we didn't have even models no, on the walls. No, we didn't. So. Anyway, so sorry that we can't yeah. accommodate you, but there is a really cute um, stitching shop. 
they actually have a lot of wool there too. It's yeah. called Button and, and Needlework, Needlework Boutique. Boutique, and it's right downtown Victoria. So Absolutely. Have a wonderful time here for that one day. I think you're coming because you're on a ship. Oh, so yes. So a lot of cruise ships come to Victoria. I think this is a top year for the number of cruise ships coming yeah, they're, in. They're actually in, increasing because this is actually one of the stopping off points or continuing on points. Uh, between San Francisco and Alaska. Yes. So American uh, ships or uh, American people, tourists, come and either stop off here or start in Vancouver. So they'll come here across the water yeah. to just come and see Victoria while they're in the neighborhood. Absolutely. Alaska, um, uh, what do you call those big icebergs? <laughs> Sorry. Glaciers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or glaciers, as yeah. they call them, I think, in England. But anyway. They are rapidly disappearing in Alaska, and I think that that's Absolutely. why there's people that really want to see all the calving. Yeah, well, and even the glaciers in the Rockies are melting yeah. and disappearing. So, Yeah, so anyway, the tourists are coming, and yeah. more and more people coming on board ship. And actually, they're extending their stay in Victoria yeah. lately because I think people really like it here, and they didn't want to just stay overnight. So well, we're very, very happy. Yeah, we're very happy for people to come and and uh, see our part of the world. Yeah. And Kathleen thinks that scary stitches looks like so much fun to it's stitch. It's going to be Kathleen. Yes. Can we buy it without attending? I would love to, but Australia is a little far. Well, it is a little far. Yes. No doubt about that. Yeah. Although we have had a number of Australian people manage to come here. Yeah. As Maureen part of comes, yeah. Um, as um, part of her other. Um, uh, trip though. That's she, right. She visits her yeah, children and, here. And her friend Cheryl, so they come yeah, quite but often. Anyway, yeah. uh, you will be able to buy it, but not for at least, so I think it's six months that yeah. we Minimum keep it. six months Yeah. until after the retreat. Yeah, and it, then we usually do, but it's really at our decision as yeah. to when we, when we release it. How it fits into the schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thanks for the question. Exactly. I hope so. you like it. Carol says, I'm very excited. Yes, you're yep. coming. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Deb says, I'm in charge of programs next year, and it will be a year of finishing. Yes, you were saying. I think that's such a great thing to Good do. Good idea. Absolutely. Lisa yeah. can come and be your guest lecturer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she can come, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, Tia. Thank you, Eva. Not a worry. Yeah. No worries at all. And there's no sorry. Just wanted to explain because it doesn't that's happen. Right. Exactly. Deb says, oh, my, that's fairly bold. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't have done it. But I yeah. did. Uh, it's on my list of things to do. I'll be in Victoria for two. Oh, I oh, didn't wow. know you were here for two weeks. Well, enjoy. I'll say. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you look at our website under VS Retreat, at the bottom of the main page, the first page that comes up, there's a number of links there that might help you enjoy Victoria a bit. I think mm -hmm. I have the Tourist Victoria thing up and... And of course, there's butcher gardens, which you'll have yeah. to see. But there's also great day trips uh, up island. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Eva Christou says, Happy birthday officially. Thank yeah. you. Amendment to comment number three before this. <laughs> That's okay. We got it. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Good to Wendy, see you. You're here. See you, oh, Sandy. Bye, Sandy. Have a good weekend. You're probably gone by now already, but anyway, yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we have to have you go down there for a trip. Yeah. I think Lisa would be very happy to be your guest lecturer. Just have to, you know, get in touch with her and we'll get her set up the contract. Yeah. <laughs> she can fly down. <laughs> would you really like to do that? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that's the option because I'm not traveling uh, down there anymore. Yeah. Right, because I'm much older than Lisa, like way, way older. Exactly. I just have to get over my nerves. That's all. For <laughs> talking in front of people. Yeah. Even though I'm talking now, it just seems you know live people would be a little different. I don't see you guys, so it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a good thing to think about that you guys might be able to do that. I don't think that would be so cute. Craigier uh -huh. Castle is a heck of a walk. From downtown, yes, it is. But it's a nice walk. Yeah, it's not that far. It's not that far, but it, it is a really nice walk on a busy street. Yeah, Fort exactly. Street. Not sure whether I'd want to walk up no, Fort Street myself. No, exactly. Anyway, so, last else? week we did gardens, and yeah. these will also be on sale. So yeah. be you know 
think about which numbers they might be, etc. So we have done summer, autumn. What was the one that we don't have here? We have spring. winter. Spring oh. is not there because it's not made into a bell pull. It's hanging up on the wall. We want to go get it. I'll get. It. <laughs> so nice <laughs> we've already just showed you these like several weeks ago but it doesn't hurt to repeat it right and then we have I think these are the earliest gardens I ever they did are. this is number let's see which numbers these are 23 23 yeah so leaflet number 23 is called the Rose Arbor, Rose Arbor. even though it says summer garden on there it's actually the Rose Arbor that's what we call it and the thing is about this one is I was also just beginning specialty stitches. Yes. So I was learning as I was designing. I'm sorry for the fuzziness. I'm trying, but it won't, you know, refocus. But as you can see, this would be awesome for a beginner. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness. It just went into focus for the hardanger for a bit. Exactly. And we look fuzzy. So, you know. Yeah, that's good, though. We should look fuzzy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, there you can see all the stitches. They're not complicated and no. they don't take very long. Yeah, no, they're short little bands. And then there's the other one that was really, really, uh, yeah, number 28. So we did 23 and 28, yeah. which is, guess what? Butterfly garden. And I think in between is 26, which is cottage garden. Oh yes, we did we showed that last, last week. Last week, yes. But these butterfly garden, this butterfly garden could be a good inspiration for me to start with the Stitch along. Yeah. Okay. I think those ones at the bottom there. Let me see if I can get them. Come on, focus in, focus in. I'm just really trying hard. Will it focus? No. Well, you can kind of see them. Roads butterflies. Yeah. I think we should include those in the SAL, Absolutely. don't you think? Yes. These are done with yes. an overdye. And this little garden is so adorable. It is. So what other ones do we have? Uh well, we've got this one. Yes. Which is the this spring is the spring garden. garden. Which I think we've shown before. We have. But it's adorable. It's adorable. And then we have summer, which is on green this time. But again, you can do these on any fabric that you like. And the summer gets a little bit more, well, summery. Like, you know, you've got more hummingbirds happening and a little more flowers. Some strawberries. Strawberries. And Taya sitting out in her <laughs> patio. No, this is Lisa. I don't sit on my patio. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> This is true. You do not sit on your patio. I really don't. Yeah. I don't find it relaxing when there's a wasp that could come any minute. <laughs> See where I don't bother it. I think I should set, uh, send my one of my dogs over and you and the dog can sit inside. Exactly. Yeah. Because I am, I've got a phobia about wasps. And so does my dog. These, not too bad, <laughs> but even big bumblebees. I'm, yeah. I don't want to be trapped with one. Yeah. No, it's, it's just the buzzing sound. Exactly. And, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I think he must have also been traumatized with yeah. me. I was a he child was. and I was really bitten and, and I didn't like it. <laughs> so ever since then, I've, I call it a phobia, but I'm just scared. Anyway, this is the autumn garden. Now the garden is turning into autumn with some wind and a scarecrow and some chickens in amongst the harvest. And you can see some pumpkins, of course, which I love to include in anything autumny. And the lady. Now this is me, okay, raking. <laughs> I don't sit, but I can rake. <laughs> and finally, the winter garden. Winter garden. And the winter garden is also cute. There we go. It's actually one of the earlier ones, isn't it? Yeah, number yeah. 42. So this winter one gives you an idea. Again, this is more simple. Not too many specialty stitches in this. Even the hard is very simple and little. And gives you the whole seasons we had one stitcher who showed us all of the seasons in one fell swoop mm -hmm. she framed them all together which is so nice and we have one more garden yep one more garden this one is number 77 this is all the same sizes it's called tropical garden and i think this was my memories of going to hawaii yes it was and some little tropical fish I love the, the waterfall at the top. For yes. some reason, that really, that just makes me feel so yeah. happy. I worked out well. But can you see my trailing threads there and, and around the birds? That was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a little bit of Florida thrown in with the, with the um, flamingo. You might not have stitched this one, actually. 
I seem to remember stitching one. Uh, you did stitch one, but I don't know if it was this one in particular. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And that was um, that was Lisa and her husband, Bob. Yeah. Because they're sitting out in the garden exactly, again. Exactly, which we do quite often. I actually said, um, it would be nice to have wine tonight. So There you go. <laughs> and I think that you're drinking there, right? Yep, you're yep, drinking. I'm drinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't look like wine, though. But, you know. <laughs> So next week we're going to start on um, small farm centers. Small farms, yeah. Yes, we have a couple here laying here waiting for next week, and we'll pull the rest off the walls in here. I think we've got a few in here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's really nice to be here, but it's quarter after already. I know. I can't believe how you know quickly the time goes. But we've got a few comments here. Okay, so, good. Um, Wendy says it's rainy day. Mm -hmm. Um, wishes she it would stop. Yeah, I, we always wish the rain would stop. Too. I'm really sorry because yeah. I know when you're waiting to get your garden in, if, yeah. it, if it's still raining, that's you just right. Can't do exactly, it. you can't do it. Good excuse to stitch. Yes, I agree. Uh, Sandra De Leon says yeah. she's way older than us both. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're not way older. Maybe a little bit, maybe a year or two. Because we don't mind saying our ages, but, you know, we don't want to get in too much of ages yeah. around here. No, exactly. <laughs> Age doesn't matter. It all depends how you feel inside. Yeah, exactly. And I feel old. No, yeah. no you don't. <laughs> I do with the condo, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Well, you how that goes. forget about that right now. Okay. I like the butterflies in the harding at the bottom. Me yeah. too. That is a good idea, too. Yeah. We can probably incorporate some of that in there. there yes. I love butterfly garden. I probably did it and gave it away though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have it around. <laughs> Loretta said, I have the spring garden hanging in my living room. Oh, yeah. Nice. And we have Patricia St. Clair. Any news on a kitty cat sampler? Oh, right. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't Not started yet. yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Deb says, I have a, have a lovely weekend, you ladies. Too, Deb. Thank you. Oh, Sandra Le Leon says nearly 76. Okay, yeah, you're yeah. like only a few, like only six years older than me. So yeah. that's not really that no, old. No, that's right, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so. you still act and um, look just as young as, as ever, I'm sure, because unless, of course, you know, you have the, the feeling that you're slowing down, and that's about, you can yeah. still feel young. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. Yes, I think it's time. I thank must you. get on with my day. She has to go and yeah. payroll. She wants to get paid. That's right. I mean, <laughs> being paid is good. It's a good yeah. thing. We, we wish you all a very merry yeah. um, weekend, anniversary exactly. weekend. Don't forget the sale is going to be right. on. Yeah. So don't forget. I'm going to put it up in about another hour, and everything will be on sale except some things. Except some things. Yeah. Absolutely. 